Inwell battery charger. This battery charger has some very unique properties. It has such unique properties that it's actually able to uh, bring batteries that are incapable of reaching their full charge potential back to life. The Meanwell chargers are a 360 watt, 500 watt and 1000 watt charger. They come in 12, 24 and 48 volts DC. They also come as a two stage, three stage and eight stage charger. That particular function can be adjusted by a switch on the charger. It's on the side here. The unique properties though of these chargers are their ability to refurbish batteries in as much as, for example, this particular battery set that we have here, which is a 650 amp hour 12 volt traction battery, was incapable of being charged above 12.55 volts per, um, total. Uh, it would not reach its potential of 12.7 or more volts per cell, um, total voltage. With the Meanwell 1000 watt 12 volt charger set on the 8 stage charging um, switch, we were able to bring this particular battery up to 12.79 volts per cell. And that is quite remarkable in terms of its capability to actually give the battery the full amount of output current. We're, we're looking for a minimum of about 12.7 volts on a 12 volt battery. That represents a state of charge of 100%. 12.55 only represents a state of charge of 90%. So we're never able to charge this battery before with its normal traction, traction battery charger higher than 12.55, so we're never able to get it. No matter, no matter how long we charged it, it would not get above 12.55, which is 90% state of charge. Now the secret with the eight stage charging switch on the Moonwell charger is that you go through this eight stage process. The first stage in the eight stage process is the charger pulses. It pulses the battery and that uh, is important because it triggers any chemical inact inactivity in the battery to start to become, in, become active before you even start charging. It then goes into a soft start, circ a soft start um, stage, which is just the beginning of, of the charge stage, but then it goes into constant current. So it will deliver as much current as possible um, in a constant current mode. It will then eventually reach a minimum of 2.1 volts per cell. That's uh, based on a, on a traction battery um, a minimum um, voltage. Normally this will be 2.4, but it has to reach 2.1 volts per cell at this stage here. Otherwise it will just turn off. It will assume that the battery can't be charged. It will then go in this analysis stage where it will be checking the battery's condition. If the battery is more than 2.1 volts per cell, the charger will then uh, go into what we call recondition mode, and then it will charge the battery up to 2.65 volt, volts per cell, which will stir up all the, the uh, contaminants on the plates, and then it will event eventually reach this voltage here. This represents probably around about 15.9 volts on a... Um, on a traction battery, uh, so we're well and truly overcharging the battery. But that's important because we've got to stir it up. It then will set, settle back to 2.4 volts on a, in a float charge, and then it will just go into a cyclic uh, maintenance charge. So it's an eight stage process, and we've proven it on 48 volt batteries, 48 volt traction batteries, and on 12 volt traction batteries, that this eight stage charging process is absolutely superior in its charging capability and all our 48 volt batteries on our track on our forklifts uh, are now charged with this type of charger and now all our traction batteries which we use for charging inverters are all now charged with this type of inverter this type of charger this type of charger uh, if it takes a little bit longer to charge even though for example 
say for example it's a 650 amp hour battery and the charger according to the specification says that it's only good for a 170 amp hour it won't hurt the battery all it will mean is that you just have to charge it for a longer period of time and that doesn't matter you won't hurt the battery but it will actually replenish the battery and bring it up to full state of charge Features the battery comes with three terminals, one negative and two positive. The reason for the two positive terminals is that it will actually charge two batteries at a time. So it will charge battery A, then charge battery B. Here is the switch for the two, three, and eight stage charger. The, the lights here will indicate whether the which which battery you're charging, and here you have a uh, a connection which will be able to go back to the battery and do temperature compensation for state of charge uh, and, the, and the charger will react to that state of that, that compensation for the temperature of the battery. On the input side you've got the on and off switch there it's on now, it's got a fan, it's got an aluminium housing green means that the battery is full, orange means that it's charging, red means that it's failed. So over here we're on, we're connected on A and it's flashing uh, the green colour which means that it's full. B is not working. We're not connected to B. The terminals here are capable of 60 amps. They're a 60 amp terminal or more. Uh, they never run hot and they're very durable. The input can be 50 or 60 hertz and can be 110 or 240 volts. It's automatically adjust. That's what the housing looks like. PB 1012-28 star switch, um, switching mode battery charger. Comes with approvals. Can you see the colour of that? What colour is that? It's green. Good. Well, it's charged. You can see here it's charging at 14.36 volts. Even though the battery's charged, it's just going back into a float mode because it knows that the battery's charged, so it won't attempt to charge it. It will just sit it on in a float. It'll eventually go into a float charge. Terminals you have to supply yourself and they have to be adequate to supply the current to the, to the battery that you charge.